Hi doll faces, I am going to tell you a little bit about my Etsy shop today. I opened my Etsy shop on the 15th of October 2011, so it's been open for quite some time now. And it's called The Four Queens, which is the same as the name of the channel and the same as the, as the name of my blog as well. I came up with The Four Queens just randomly off the cuff. I didn't have to think about it for very long at all, it came kind of quite instinctively. And it was just as a result of trying to channel the archetypes of the four queens and understand how they fit together. I'm very interested in the queens. I feel that the queens in tarot are quite a lot like the queens in chess. So if you know anything about chess and you know anything about tarot, you will understand why I think they fit together in terms of how they dominate the board and understand the whole environment and such. So I feel that's very much where I was going with the title for the blog, the channel and the shop. And at the moment, I'm on my 225th sale for the Four Queen shop on Etsy. And I'm not planning to move from the Etsy platform at all, because if you are considering setting up a shop to sell readings or anything like that, sell metaphysical objects, items, I would definitely recommend Etsy as a platform. I think it's really good. I think that the price that you pay to renew items and sell items is quite reasonable from my perspective. I also think that everything is made very easy for you. It's very streamlined. And there are lots of other people using the Etsy platform who are interested in metaphysical um, purchases or readings and things like that. Like, for example, I'm a member of the Tarot Readers Guild on Etsy, where we have a little forum where we can discuss things that interest us or, you know, experiences we've had, offers we want to put on. I think the feedback section, I don't know if I've already said that, is really good on Etsy. Um, and so is the order history function that they have um, with me for example if somebody buys a reading from me and I know in the back of my mind that they did have another reading from me but it was like nine or ten months ago and I really can't remember what the original reading was about but I would like to refer to it I can click on the little green star and it gives me the order history so I can always see if somebody has ordered from me before and I can refresh my memory before I go into the next reading I want to check obviously what the information was from before make sure that I'm I'm keeping everything relevant. I also have a lot of very frequent um, buyers who've been with me on and off since I've opened and have worked with me since I've opened. I love having a list of their order history. It keeps things um, it keeps things in check for me. I know a lot about my frequent buyers. I know a lot about the clients that I work with very frequently. So it's kind of like an ongoing relationship. And every now and then I may wish to refer back to a reading that I did at a certain time about a certain thing. But I might not be able to remember where I saved it because I might not be able to remember what month I wrote it. So the order history is really great for that. If I think to myself, I really want to refer to that work and career reading I did for her like uh, six months ago, but I'm not sure kind of what month it was. I'll go and look on the order history and then I'll be able to find the saved file on my computer. So it just keeps things organised and together and makes me into a better reader. So I'm definitely not planning on moving from Etsy, although I have been advised by several people that I should sell via my own website. I do know that you can transfer everything from Etsy onto your website so that you only need to get a client to sort of click to Etsy for the final transaction. But I don't really see the point in that. You know, I think I'm just going to keep everything Etsy centric for now because I've really enjoyed being on Etsy and I like it. I like the platform quite a lot. Um, what else can I tell you? There is a seven day turnaround on my readings. Um, sometimes I'll send in the first two or three days, other times I'll wait. I like to have a seven day turnaround for readings because I think it gives me um, the optimum time to find that part of the seven days in which the energy is optimum for the reading that I'm doing. I um, I tend to find nine times out of ten that there'll be a certain time over the seven day period that I will just click everything will just click into place and I'll know that it's time to do the reading so I like to give myself a bit of time for that the turnaround used to be two to three days I think and that was a little too soon because sometimes I would feel rushed sometimes I would feel like I'm doing this reading but the energetic kind of spark in me isn't really there to do it so I lengthened it to seven days and I feel that works out much better so sometimes um, when a client orders they'll get their reading in two or three days sometimes it will be a little later but it will always be within that seven day time frame unless they specify that they'd like it later or anything like that so you know I think seven days is long enough to keep it relevant for the client when it does arrive in their inbox but at the same time gives me uh, a suitable kind of scope for a decent time that I can actually do the reading when I feel energetically plugged into it and to the client's issue so that again I feel makes me a better reader 
If you go over to the shop and you have a look at the pricing options, I can explain them for you. I have, in general, three different pricing options, and this is what they are at the time of uploading this video. Your £5 um, price option, five uh, British pounds sterling will give you about 500 words, but 500 words is the minimum, so it sometimes can run up to seven or 800. Uh, then you've got your £8.50 pricing, which is around the 1,000 word mark, but again, that is a minimum. I never restrict my word count if I can possibly help it, and if I feel that I do need to say a lot more, I will say a lot more. But the standard, the average, is about 1,000 words. And then the full price, £17 reading, is 2,000 words minimum, and that can go up to 3,500, so just be warned. Um, whatever you... Um, Whatever you get word word count wise when you pay for a seventeen pound reading will be long. Um, the average is about five pages, but it can run up to seven. It depends how I'm feeling and how many messages I feel I'm intuitively intuitively picking up on and what the cards are really giving to me. So you do have to have quite a large attention span um, to read five to seven pages about yourself and about your situation. You have to kind of be invested there has to be a commitment there <laughs> but yeah it's a very long document and it normally involves a lot of journal tips and homework and things to get you moving into the longer term there are lots of questions in there um, there are exercises sometimes visualization exercises sometimes affirmations that I suggest you use sometimes I will just suggest positive psychology techniques a lot of the time it will be journalism exercises it will be therapeutic journaling exercises and things like that I do always tell people which cards they get in a spread. I, I never kind of just give the overall feeling of the energy without telling people which cards they they have. But I tie it together very organically. It's not the kind of reading where you'll get it through and it will say, page of cups, this means this. Three of swords, this means this. It's all very organically tied together. As I think anybody who watched my trainee tarot course and the tarot videos that I've done can kind of imagine, I do write very much the way I speak. And so it is kind of, it's not thrown together in a very mechanistic fashion. It's very much like uh, it comes together organically and it's very relevant to the situation that you're going through. But there are lots of techniques and things that I will give you to go into the longer term. So that's kind of how I roll. And a few people have asked me if I will do video readings and I know that that's something that's very popular. I wouldn't consider doing it at the moment because if you saw, um, well if you've seen any of the videos that I've done where I'm actually focusing on cards, you can see that I'm not using a camera and a tripod, I'm actually just using the laptop and it's kind of leveled down so that doesn't give very good picture quality and I don't think it would be right to ask somebody to pay full price for a video reading where you can't actually really see the cards really well. Um, and also I think that I would have to open a separate channel if I was going to offer video readings that would be given via YouTube link. And I'm not sure if I want to do that at the moment because I think that's just going to be perhaps slightly more work and is going to convolute things more. But it is certainly something that I've been asked since I started the YouTube channel if I would be prepared to do video readings or when I'm planning on doing video readings. So it's something that I'm going to have to think about. Um, but at the moment you just have those three standard reading sizes. Uh, and, you know, I think that... I offer them because I think people want different degrees of help and also I offer them because not everybody has £17 in their back burner or in their PayPal account. Um, so I think it's sometimes good if you need guidance and you need help to be able to pay £5 for uh, potentially 500 to 700 words kind of thing. I think that's still very helpful and very insightful for what you get. So I think I wanted there to be those different options there. I'm going to talk about a few of the readings that I offer on the shop. Um, in no particular order and I certainly can't talk about all of them because there are four pages worth but if you're interested in getting a reading from me um, you'll be able to see clearly that a lot of the readings are very themed and I explain in the description section of each reading what is going to be covered and um, what kind of ideas I've placed into that particular spread that I've designed and a lot of them were just kind of designed f uh, by me like I have a moon wisdom reading for example where I very much focus on the phase that the moon is in when the reading has been ordered and then I have a look at the subsequent actions or thoughts that are going to come into play or should be put into play as the different moon phases unfold until we come back to the moon phase on which the reading was ordered so I'm really proud of that one <laughs> well happy with that one. Um, 
I've got a self-love reading, I've um, I've got a reading about being authentic, I've got a confidence boost reading, I've got a lot of readings that pertain to my interest in self-development and positive psychology, but I also have things like the spiritual guide reading um, and uh, the soul therapy reading, things that relate much more to my experience as a spiritual counsellor. So I think, you know, a lot of those things tie into my interests. I also have a few wacky readings, like I have a Wizard of Oz reading that I offer, <laughs> where each of the cards will pertain to a different character from the Wizard of Oz. That one I just love. I just think that's great. And I like to take ideas like that and kind of run with them. I really like themed spreads. I haven't put too many on the shop because I don't want people to think I'm a total crackpot. But the Wizard of Oz reading has been quite popular. From time to time, clients will pick it up and they will just absolutely love it. Um, I do a work and career reading, that's quite popular. I also do a finance reading, which focuses more on the emotional aspects of dealing with money and dealing with financial issues, dealing with your relationship to money, etc. I will not give literal financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor, but what I do know is quite a lot about the emotional struggles that we have with money and the limiting beliefs that surround our relationship with money. So that's why that reading is there. And I also have a business kickstart reading, which I'm quite excited about at the moment. I also have a reading called the Home Sweet Home Tarot Reading, which deals very much with any domestic issues, decisions to move, um, concerns about the house, issues you might have with neighbours, uh, anything that you're going through with regarding, uh, regarding domesticity, regarding your house and how you feel about it. I've had people order readings from me, uh, home sweet home readings, because they were having issues with neighbours. I had one woman who wasn't really sure whether or not a house cleansing had worked. She didn't feel right in the environment. I have um, clients that come to me for all kinds of, of questions with regard to moves and stuff like that. So the home sweet home reading, I've, I've really enjoyed having on there. I have um, a life map reading. You can have a tarot reading for that or a Russian gypsy reading. Uh, Russian Gypsy fortune telling cards I use. I'll do another video about them in the future because it, anyone interested in tarot cards, oracle cards, etc. will just absolutely love them. But yeah, I have a few Russian Gypsy reading options and, and rune options and things like that. Bibliomancy readings as well. So the life map reading kind of goes through the different phases or the different versions of yourself that you've been in your life so far, discussing potentially the lessons that have been learned and what you can actually glean for use now on your journey forward. The Road Ahead reading is another popular one that focuses more on um, what can be prepared and manifested and what needs to be thought about as we kind of move you um, positively into the future. So it's about forging forward, I suppose. There is more of a focus on the future in that one and about kind of working out what which seeds can ultimately be sown for the next three months. I have a soul therapy reading, which is very popular and was one of the first things that I listed on the shop. It's like a general reading, but it's focused more on being spiritually centred and on what's going on with the spiritual self. There's a few ones like that. There is actually, um, there's a reading called the Solitary Witch Tarot Reading, which I devised purely for people who are, like me, solitary witches on a solitary path and maybe have reached a crossroads with their spiritual exploration. They're not quite sure where to go next. Perhaps they need some reassurance or they just need to understand what kind of signs they're receiving and what to do with them. I feel that tarot can be a very intuitive tool when it's used to explore the spiritual pathway. I also have a reading called the rabbit hole reading, which I love. It's actually a reading which utilises the bardic technique in tarot, which is the storytelling technique in tarot. If you lay out a bunch of cards and you make a story out of them, the story often has a lot of symbols in it that represent different parts of the aspects or elements of the client's character. I really feel like the rabbit hole um, reading was devised as a kind of poetic technique to help a client think in a symbolic way or to help them break down symbols that might help to tell them things about themselves. That's a full length reading and it's basically just a story which unfolds with you as the central character. So you go, I mean, you don't literally go down the rabbit hole because that would be plagiarism, but you, I take you into a storybook world basically and I tell you a story about you and about messages that you will learn from the people you meet, the characters you meet, the environment you get into, the situation that you get into. So it's supposed to be an allegorical, symbolic fest, which is supposed to help you to untangle or work out certain things about your character through this symbolic language or through this symbolic format. So I really, really love that one. And as soon as I learned bardic technique, I listed the rabbit hole tarot reading on my shop and I really enjoy it. 
Of course, the relationship reading is very popular, so is the ex-partner reading, which kind of helps to unravel a past connection and ultimately help you heal from it. I have um, a reading called the Fragile Heart Tarot reading, which I listed quite recently. This is for people who, at the moment, are feeling very bruised, very damaged, very vulnerable. Something horrible happened to them. They've kind of lost their faith in humanity a little bit. It's kind of supposed to be a, a bunch of rebuilding techniques built around the individual cards that will come up for you. And I really like that one. I've focused a lot on what I could do to... Um, to help people who are experiencing that vulnerability or that sense of lack of faith in their fellow man, um, people that are recovering from some kind of trauma, um, people that really just need to feel that they can kind of venture out into the world slowly but surely again, um, people that need to kind of take heart, I suppose. I offer an option called the Month of Intention, which costs 45 British pounds sterling at the moment. And it's basically 30 days of communication with me, um, readings, affirmations, discussion back and forth about the issues. We'll do some life coaching techniques, um, journaling techniques, maybe dream interpretation, depending on what the 30 days of work kind of demands. So we begin with either a Skype consultation or an email consultation to get um, in focus what the main points are that you want to be dealing with and such. And then we move on from that into our 30 day correspondence. I just finished at the end of April a month of intention for a client. I have now begun on another month of intention. Uh, which will go on for another three more weeks. At the moment, I'm only offering the month of intention to one client um, and then I kind of uh, take it off the shop as a purchase and I place it back on once the month of intention is finished. That's because at the moment I'm still very much finding my feet with working with a client over a 30 day period. So I do not want to overbook myself with like three, four people doing a month of intention because I want to make sure that the person having the month of intention has my full attention and really is going through the 30 days with me completely present, you know. I want to make sure that I'm giving it my all. So at the moment, the month of intention option is not present. The reason I'm saying this is because I know several people have asked me about it, and I'm not sure if I got back to all of you. Um, but essentially, it's kind of like a life coaching slash one-on-one -on -one spiritual counselling experience for a full month. And at the moment, as I said, I'm going through it with another client. And after that, it will be um, it's being reserved for another client who's waiting in the queue for when that finishes. Eventually, I will be able to do a few at a time. But at the moment, as I said, I just want to make sure that I'm being as fair as possible. And I'm putting my energy and my intention 100 percent into one month of intention at a time until I've found the kind of pace that works for me and for the clients I'm helping. Uh, I also sell e-zines. I sell one e-zine a month. It's called Tarot for Life and it has a lot of um, articles in it about tarot, about different cards, different techniques you can use, tarot for self-development and that kind of thing. And it features all original collage work by me and they come in PDF format and they're print ready. And I just love them. I'm going to carry on making them. I've really, really enjoyed it so far. So yeah, there's a new Tarot for Life easy now each month. That's kind of the plan. That's how it's gone so far. And that's how it's going to continue. Um, once you become a repeat buyer, so that's after you've bought your first purchase from me, um, you'll notice at the end of the reading that I will give you a 10% discount code. That is for all repeat buyers. As soon as you've bought one thing from me, you're entitled to use a 10% discount code for anything else that you buy from me in the future. And that is an ongoing thing. So as soon as you've got the code, you're, you're welcome to use it for anything you like. This is kind of a, a thank you to buyers who trust me and return to me and who give me great feedback. I want to do something in return. The other thing that I do for my repeat buyers on an ongoing basis, the buyers that have stuck with me my clients who've worked with me over time is I offer them freebies from time to time for example my top 10 most frequent buyers were recently given a free copy of my 50 joy tips ebook which I emailed to them um, and you know I just let them know when there are offers going and things like that so if you think you might want to order a reading from me then you can check the feedback over on my Etsy shop and you'll be able to see people who've had readings from me giving me testimonials and stuff like that if you have any questions about the Etsy shop or you have any questions about wanting to start your own if you're a bit worried about it and you don't know where to start then message me email me thefourqueens@mail.com. And I will speak to you guys soon. Much love. Blessed be.